Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Mateus, I'm Reservoir Simulation Engineer at CMG and I'd like you to welcome you to this presentation about the use of triggers in CMG. The trigger option is available in our three simulators, IMEX, STARS and GEM, and this option allows you to specify certain actions which are implemented when one or more specific conditions are satisfied during the simulation. The actions that can be taken are defined by recurrent keywords. This means specifications or data which may vary with time, like well constraints, well geometry, and all the data listed here. Related to the conditions to be satisfied, there are many quantities based on wells, group, layers, sectors, and time. In Builder, you can find this window to configure the trigger. First, you can define the date and name of the trigger. In this section, you can define the condition to be evaluated. In the Apply On option, you select where you want to evaluate the condition. And in this When section, you select the property to be evaluated. In this section, you can define the value of the conditional to be evaluated. Then you have these additional options for modifying trigger values and trigger evaluation. And finally, in this section, you can define the actions taken when the conditionals are satisfied. This slide shows the different ways to configure a trigger. In this option, you define the condition to be evaluated. The simulator is going to evaluate this condition every time a step until the condition is satisfied. At that moment, the simulator is going to take an action that you previously defined in the trigger definition and the action is going to be taken automatically. In this case, you define the condition to be evaluated and once it is satisfied, then the simulator is going to take an action number one. And if the condition is not satisfied, then the simulator is going to take an alternative action or action number two. With the last option, you can model nested triggers. So um, once you define the trigger number one, the simulator is going to evaluate the condition every time a step. When the condition is satisfied, then the simulator can enter to a second trigger. And the simulator is going to evaluate the condition in every time a step. And when the condition is satisfied, it is going to enter to a additional trigger. So you can have as many nested triggers as you want. Now let's move to the first demo. In this case, I'll show you how to start automatic well drilling three months after simulation starts. The simulator is going to use this priority list to drill the wells. And additionally, we will configure the keywords so that the wells are drilled every 15 days. So this is the configuration of the trigger. In this case, the conditional to be evaluated is going to be the simulation time. And in this case, when the simulation time reaches three months, then the simulator is going to call a group of keywords to drill the wells automatically every 15 days. These are the group of keywords that are going to automatically drill the wells. Here is the priority list that I mentioned previously. And here are the 15 dates that are going to be used as a time delay between perforation uh, between well and well. So with that, we can go to Builder and start setting this trigger. So for this exercise, I have a pre-built model. You can see here all the sections are complete. So for the trigger definition, we are going to focus on the well and reference section. We can display all the options and look for trigger new. So you can click here and this is the format that we already saw in the slide. So so the name for this trigger is going to be automatic drilling. Uh, 
I'm going to select on this apply on option this elapsed so remember that here the trigger is going to evaluate the simulation time so here you have uh, two different options you have this time from the simulation start and time since the trigger definition in this case i'm going to use time from the simulation start and the conditional value is going to be 90 days and in the action section i'm going to paste all the keywords associated with the automatic drilling with this you can click on apply ok save the model and run it now i'm going to launch the results using this button doesn't matter that the simulation is uh, is still running once in result we can create a graph including the production of all the wells so we can see when they were drilled so for that i'm going to time series and then in the curve selection window i'm going to select uh, data type by wells and data sources the result and here in data i can filter the results i'm going to use only the producers and select them using shift in parameter i'm going to look for oil rate and i finish the graph using this add to new plot bottom as you can see here after three months of simulation the trigger calls the automatic drilling keywords so the wells start being drilled uh, every 15 days with that i finished the first demo and now we can move to a second demo this is a more complex case uh, this is a steam drive case where we are going to decrease the steam injection rate periodically and in this exercise when the temperatures around the producing wells rise above 100 Fahrenheit the trigger is going to decrease the steam injection by 100 barrels per day every 5 months so now let's move to builder and set this trigger so go to wells and recurrent and select trigger new the name for this trigger is going to be decrease injection i'm going to evaluate the property by sector the sector i previously defined is the sector or the areas around the producer wells here so I select this sector and then select the property to be evaluated that in this case is going to be temperature. You can see here that you have different values of temperature. In this case, I'm going to use average. The max value is going to be 110. In this case, uh, we are going to use this option to set the maximum number of times that the action specified with the trigger can be taken and we are going to set a value of 10,000. In the action section I'm going to copy the keywords associated with the rate reduction. Here I have the keywords associated to it, then uh, STW that is the, the weather injection at surface condition here is the name of the well and the rate reduction so with that we can click on apply and ok now to define that the rate is going to be reduced every five months we are going to open this model in cedit once you open the file in cedit you can look for trigger here we have the first trigger definition and here we have the trigger that we want to modify in this case so here i'm going to include this keyword time delayed 150 and remember that i'm setting this keyword to uh, reduce the injection rate every five months so with that 
you can just um, save the model and run it. Remember that you can run it from CEdit as well. After opening the SR3 in results, we can create a graph of the water injection. So I'm going to set in the data type section by wells in data sources. I'm going to select the SR3. Uh, here in data, you can filter the wells. I'm going to select the steam drive injector. And in the parameter, I'm going to select water injection. It is water rate SC. I finished uh, clicking on this bottom, add to new plot. And you can see here that at the beginning, the injection uh, is constant. And then after the trigger starts, you can see that uh, the reduction of the rate every five months. One of the benefits of using these triggers uh, is not only to do the things automatically, but optimizing the um, process that you are modeling. So in this case, I'm going to compare the oil recovery factor between the two demos. And as you can see here, the demo two is the one with the reduction in the injection rate. So we can we can have the same results reducing the injection rate, what is going to impact the economies of the project. So this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you find this useful. Thank you so much for watching this video and remember to click like if you consider it and subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so you are informed about our future publications.